Hi. Welcome to the new Samurai Plus One video podcast. This is episode, oh, let's say 73. I don't know. No, 74. I'm your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai. <gasps> and it's going to be an interesting show. <laughs> I thought I would give a, a try to recording with the plus one running around. So those of you who are new to the show, we don't typically have a two-year-old underfoot, but he is here right now, and he likes the phone. <laughs> He's watching the timer. This is my son, Roland. He is two years... How old are you? Two years and almost four months, right? What do you say? What do you say? Excuse me? Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> as you may be able to tell from my voice, I've been sick pretty much for two weeks. I've had a not great cold. So that has kept me from knitting and kept me from recording because I didn't have much to show you. So I still don't have much to show you, but it's been way more than 10 days and I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So... So, <laughs> let's get into the knitting talk, shall we? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. So, I have been working on the uh, Snowball Bunnies by Susan Cladino. I made, let's say, five of the reindeer ones to give as um, ornament gifts mm -hmm. to my coworkers. Yeah. Yes, thank you for helping me with that. So, I have some nice red satin ribbon to put at the top that I need to that'll turn them into ornaments. I also made the uh, rabbit one. What great assistant I have. Who knew? Who knew? Can you reach them? Uh, okay. So I also made the bunny one who now has a little pink cotton. Oh, okay. I'll get that one. Oh boy. We'll see how this is. Thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> so there's one more of them. The thing I love about these is that um, there is quite a bit of assembly required, so you knit each of these pieces separate. So the antlers actually end up being four pieces and then the two ears. But, um, so sewing all that together is a bit time consuming, but each one is different depending on how I was feeling and how the stitching went. So, those are... Merry Christmas! <laughs> Finishing up off my needles right now. So this was the um, non-holiday themed one, but she has a little bow on her ear now. So thank you, hot glue gun. <laughs> so those are great fun. Highly recommend them. Pretty quick to knit. Not not a not painful assembly. I'll say it like that. I also uh, have been working on. Can we move that out of the way? Uh, Christmas gifts. So these are new to you, new to you, and off the needles. Apparently that's where that goes. Um, this weekend, in if we're friends on Instagram, Knitting Samurai over there, you saw these. I bust out a pair of chunky fingerless mitts. They are called Heather's Mitts by Knitting Bee. Um, using bulky weight yarn and US 11s, 10s and 11s. We did this. So I did these this weekend. They are, um, they don't have thumbs, so that makes them finish even faster. And they're for a coworker. I use Barocco Vintage Chunky. Um, color will be in the show notes. But those are on and off the needles in I think two and a half hours. No, yes, two and a half hours. So really great, really quick knit. Again, the name of the pattern is Heather's Knits, and it's a free download on Raft. I made mine a little shorter than the pattern recommends, but um, I don't know if you can see him and see what he's doing, but I did place an order for some new bags, stitched by Jessalou, for two bags. So I saw the Grinch and with the green zipper, I could not resist. So I ordered this and you can't just order one bag. So we also got this one, which is like, a, I think it's a medium size. It's a much bigger bag. You can see for comparison's sake. Oh, you ready to get down? Or you want to play with the mitts? Yeah. Okay, mitts. So, um, I also ordered this one thinking it would be good for January. You know, when the snow starts falling. We had a great snowstorm this weekend. Lots and lots of snow, but it started at 7 p.m. And it finished, I want to say, around noon. I didn't feel like I really got to be part of the storm. Like, normally, it would be, um, 
you know, super fun. You drink hot chocolate and you look out the window and see how much snow is coming down. And I built a little left out because I got up and most of the snowfall was down. <laughs> but it's okay. Are you putting those on? Is, oh, ow, check this out. You know, your thumb goes. Wow, bro. What a great model. I had no idea I had this model just hanging out in my house. What do you think? You like them? Yeah. yeah. Knock, knock. No, no hockey fan. Someone has become a huge hockey fan. I don't know how this happened, but we all blame my brother-in-law. So, there you go. Yeah, so that's how the, the mitts would fit a toddler. Um, I also got, let's see, what else to show you? So, I have been working on knitting. You all done? Here you go. Go find your tractor. Um, knitting 13 pairs of self striping socks, and this is my third pair. I would put them on sock blockers for you, but um, the friend that they're for has tiny, tiny feet, and I only have large sock blockers. So, um, toe up, two by two rib, and the loops and threads luxury, luxury sock super fine yarn from, I want to say Joann's or Michael's. One of those, so definitely a bargain yarn. Love the way the stripes look. And two by two, I said that toe up, heel flap construction. And typically when I do toe up socks for some reason, that last inch, I always do a one by one rib. I was thinking about it today. I have no logic as to why I do one by one rib. I don't think it cinches the sock in anymore. Um, if I did through the back loop, I think it would. Perhaps I have and I've forgotten this, but um, yeah. So I have, I think, three more rows to go on this and I'm done. And then if I line them up, yeah, am I going to get through that in the next 10 days before the end of the year? I sure hope so. So those are on the needles. Um, you know, when you get a new bag and it's a Grinch bag, you immediately have to cast on a pair of socks and Grinch colored yarn. So <laughs> I just have a little toe going here just to say I have Grinch socks in my Grinch bag. So this is what I'm planning. Planning to finish those up for Christmas because they're a gift. And then um, over the Christmas break, which I have about seven days off in a row, which will be lovely. And then we lots of family around to do lots of rolling chasing and I'll get to do some knitting. Um, I plan on knitting these in my Grinch bag and feel all, all festive. So this, I know, what's up, up with the, I don't know, the colors just spoke to me. So this is Red Heart, Heart and Souls with Aloe. And this is, can you hear him playing on my phone? That was the compromise. Uh, 7030 superwash wool nylon blend. Uh, the other one is a 603010, I believe, with 10 being cashmere on the luxe socks. And both of these socks are knit with US size zero needles because that's what I use. So, there, those are in my bag. Um, sorry, <coughs> the I knew the voice wasn't going to hold out for very long, but. Lastly, I got this. So yeah, that's it for knitting content, guys. I'm sorry. I know. I promise I'll do better. I'll do better, I swear. Get back to my sweater. Um, finish weaving in my ends on my fingerless mitts and get those out to the people they go to. Those were the... Oh, what were they? Peekaboo mitts. Something. Anyways. So, um, look at this. Look. This came in the mail. I don't know when it came, but I picked it up today. So I um, opted back in November to join the mustache knit along with Mel of Single Handed Knits, her sweater design for the Hala. I don't know how to say it. But I did my pre order of two giant hell of a skeins from Mustache Yarn are 750 yards, 100% superwash, and this is how it came. So, I have not opened it. I thought it was so cute, I would share it with you guys, and now I'm gonna open it. I had a really hard time picking what color, and then I thought about, well, what colors in my closet, what color sweaters do I wear the most often? And so, looking at the choices that were offered, like the yellow was gorgeous, but I know me. I'm never gonna wear a yellow sweater. So, that one was out. Look at this. The little card. So cute. 
a little stitch marker. Details, oh, such nice details. Okay, then opening the package. Um, yeah, so I decided that the Dark and Stormy that I knit last year at about this time is the one I wear the most, and so that is blue. And so I would go with blue. And here they are. Oh, aren't they glorious? They are so dense. Oh my God, 750 yards. Is this even gonna fit on my skein winder? I don't know. I know the knit along starts December 4th. Um, details must be in the mustache podcast group thread over in their group on RAF. Uh, go check it out. If you're interested, you don't have to buy the yarn. You can just use stashed yarn, fingering weight yarn. Uh, 1500 yards is enough for a, I'm gonna be a 48 inch chest, so that's enough for my size or less. And um, yeah, join in. You can buy the pattern, use your own yarn. It's a very inclusive knit along and it starts December 26th. So it's like, let's start our selfish knitting. So, so excited. Look at this, glorious. Mmm, smells good too. <laughs> so, I think that's all I have for you. I'm sorry. I hope you're not disappointed. But it's better to hear from a froggy Stephanie that has not a lot of knitting than nothing, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, take care until we talk again. Ten days or so would put us right after Christmas, which is in that span of time when I have so much time off. So I'm sure we will find time to sit down and catch up you and I. Until then, enjoy what's going on in your knitting world. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, all of that stuff. Um, and take care. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Shit. What's what? That's the lights at the train station. Yeah. We're waiting for Daddy. Goes a car. Hmm. Wait, dude. Wait, dude. Mommy. That's me. I'm right here. Daddy drive. Daddy's gonna drive. Yep. You really like it when Daddy drives, don't you? Yeah. Why? No. Why? <laughs> I shift. Hey, Roland, do you remember what Santa says? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. And he comes down the chimney, right? Yeah. Yeah. For good boys. Rolling. Knock knock. Hockey's here. <laughs> that was hockey's here. Yeah. What do you wear when you play hockey? Throw it. You throw it? Okay. Helmet. You wear a helmet? What else do you wear? Cups. Gloves? What else do you use? Sticks. Sticks? What goes on your feet? Uh, on your feet? <laughs> hockey boots. Yeah. Do you like hockey? Yeah. Do you like hockey as much as you like Thomas? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your own hockey stick? Yeah. Do you say things besides yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no, they do no giggle. No, they. Can you say bye bye, friends? Bye bye, friends.